Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to head out to Bonham State Park in Bonham, Texas. Uh, I know we talked about in the next video, we we're gonna talk about some of our modifications. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. A lot of you have asked about how we store and carry the gear. So this week we're gonna talk about our gear storage, where we put it, how we transport it, and how we get to our setup. So uh, once we get out to uh, the campsite, uh, we'll go into uh, a little bit more of that. So come along for the ride and uh, see you at the campsite. Okay guys, we've made it to the park. Uh, so like I said earlier, we're gonna show you how we store our gear and where it's stored. Uh, and then we'll get into maybe pulling out and setting up everything and give you a kind of idea of how uh, our setup works. Uh, so we'll hop out, get back in the back and kind of go over where all the stuff is when we travel. See you in the next clip. Okay, so guys, our setup is pretty basic uh, and it's all about where to put everything. Uh, we keep our little cooler and everything right here behind the seat as we're traveling. And um, the other idea is, is to think small. Uh, so we carry a table and we got a small table that fits right behind the uh, driver's seat. In our upper storage, we keep uh, our, uh, our two blankets uh, for sleeping. Uh, we also have up here a folding table, two folding ottomans, um, our power supply, Jackery, two fans, and a tripod uh, for a camera. So this side of the uh, storage area is where we keep most of our uh, items that we just kind of use uh, for bulk storage. Since the vehicle doesn't have any storage uh, on the outside, uh, we keep everything uh, stored un under here. And, and that this is where where, where, where everything uh, goes uh, we talked about uh, before with the drawers where we keep our clothes and everything so all that's fine uh, we keep our uh, chairs we used to pack them on the outside and now we uh, put them uh, on the inside and just kind of put them on the floor and keep an aisle uh, open for uh, walking um, and then Again, like we talked about earlier, this is our electronics cabinet. So we have all of uh, our things for electronics, uh, stuff for the television, uh, some uh, stuff for movies and whatnot. And up here is where we keep uh, all of our kitchen stuff. Uh, we've got a pot, a stackable stack inside pot, which these are the best thing to have because they take up less space. And it's like about three pots in one um, that goes with that. And we store, you know, kind of all of our uh, glassware and items, uh, food and whatnot, and kind of put everything in there. So even though the vehicle's small, it does uh, allow quite a bit of uh, storage space uh, to put everything. And what we'll do is we'll break out some of the uh, other gear that we carry and kind of go over, I'll, I'll provide some links in, in the uh, description on where we purchase all the stuff from. Most stuff that we have came from Amazon. Uh, here in the back, like we talked about before, this was a wardrobe cabinet. Uh, we took out the, rod, the hanging rod and I put in shelves. And in, in here we just keep uh, everything, you know, we can fit in. We have an air fryer, we've got a blender, we've got the Keurig. Uh, and a little uh, boiling pot. And then we keep the uh, black stone down here as well. And then some other stuff uh, that we carry as well. So usually on long-term trips, we'll, we'll take quite a bit of stuff. I kind of just brought in some of the things that we uh, carry, just kind of give you an idea uh, of, of what we uh, put in uh, for, for trips. Right now we're just here for one night uh, for Labor Day. Uh, so we're not really, we don't normally carry all this stuff. Like I said, I wanted to put the uh, put everything in and kind of give you guys an idea of uh, what we carry, uh, 
how much stocking space we have. We really love the refrigerator because it does hold uh, quite a bit. And like I said, you have the refrigerator and then you have the freezer uh, combination. Uh, whereas some of the other floor plans just have the uh, little college dorm style refrigerator. So it does provide for a lot of uh, space uh, when needed. So what we'll do uh, next is we're gonna get all set up and kind of give you an idea of how the setup is and we'll see you at the next clip. set up and uh, again we're at Bonham State Park in Bonham Texas and it's a nice little park it sits on Bonham Lake and with it being Labor Day weekend there is quite a bit of uh, campers out here trails three walking trails so I think that we're going to try to do the gnarly root trail tonight which is 1.5 miles there was an armadillo trail which is 1.5 and a boys to arc trail which is 2.5 but that's on the other side of the lake so I think we're going to stick with the one that's close by us it's really nice this evening because it's overcast so I think we can we can make it we can do it Yep, and it's not too uh, humid. Um, we have some fans set up, so we were able to keep some of the humidity at bay. Oh, hell no! But it's a nice little evening. We just had some people walk through our campsite. That was very... Rule number one, do not take shortcuts through the campsites. We're new and even we know that. They walked right through the campsite. I mean like right in front of us through our picnic table. Just right through the campsite and just kept on going. That was interesting. That was interesting. So guys. First off, we'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, we appreciate the love. Uh, we're on our way last check at about 600 subscribers. <laughs> appreciate that. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. Uh, we've got much more content to come. Uh, so, I say later on we'll talk a little more about the, uh, the stuff that we carry and kind of get an idea of uh, how we keep it small. Um, a little bit about ourselves. Mm -hmm. We uh, both have a military background. We both were in the Marine Corps. Uh, we both were stationed in uh, Camp Pendleton, California. We met and were married uh, while we were in the Marine Corps. And we always wanted to travel. So I that. think that I mean, ever since we, even since we had kids, we have been looking at RVs. Um, and I think that's, I mean, people think, oh, you just jumped up and got, a, got something to RV. No, we've always wanted an RV, but we just didn't think it was in our reach. Um, I, I kind of regret when they were little. Um, we, well, we did van life when they were little because we had two vans. We would always pack up during the summer and take the kids someplace. So we always went um, either back home to my home, North Carolina. We would go by way of Atlanta and just try to stop off at different places to take them at. Or either we would go across Tennessee through the mountains um, and then, of course, all the way over to the ocean to Atlantic Beach, Outer Banks, Kitty Hawk. So we've always traveled, um, gosh, for forever, you know. <laughs> Ever since the kids were small. Yeah. Uh, so we were kind of into van life before we knew what van life was because 
obviously with three kids, uh, trying to fly from Texas to North Carolina was expensive. Uh, so we always drove. And once uh, we have uh, our oldest, and then we had a set of twins. So once the twins were born, uh, that was our first van. And as the kids got a little bit older, we bought a, uh, a much larger, nicer van uh, because we always drove. So uh, we were constantly driving because again, flying was just too expensive. Uh, so she's right, we've always kind of yeah. did that type of thing. Yeah. Including we got into the uh, the cruise. We did so many cruises. We started cruising, cruising when the kids were little, because um, we wanted them to explore and see different things. So we, gosh, we've been in Mexico. I don't know how many times we wanted to make sure whenever we go there that we also had them um, experience some of different sites rather than just being on a cruise line. So we were sure we made sure that we had good excursions to take them on that were also learning experiences. So I think was it the first one that we took in the Chechen, Itza? Yes, first cruise uh, was a five-day cruise, uh, Cozumel, Progreso. Mm -hmm. So we went to see the uh, pyramids out in Chechen Itza, uh, and then after that we started doing seven-day cruises uh, with them as well. Uh, so yeah, travel has always kind of been our thing. Uh, the RV thing we thought that it was going to be more mm -hmm. once we stopped working mm -hmm. uh, until we realized that we got to a certain point that once the kids were grown mm -hmm. and we kind of decided we wanted to not wait until we stopped working and got so much older that we wanted to kind of travel around mm -hmm. and enjoy things while we were still young and that's really the key to it uh, mm -hmm. is to try to get it while you're still young uh, so we I think it took us about a, a, a year to a year and a half that I started researching uh, RVs. We thought we were gonna do a uh, Class C. Mm -hmm. uh, we also thought about Class A's. Mm -hmm. uh, the Class B really wasn't in my mindset until I stumbled across uh, van life on YouTube and started looking at uh, some of the van builds that were being done and how nice they were. And that really kind of piqued uh, our interest uh, in the Class B. Uh, we realized that we did not want to build a van. Mm -mm. It takes too much time, mm -mm. too much mm -hmm. money, and a skill set that mm -hmm. neither one of us has. Mm -hmm. and, and frankly, I just didn't want to try to do it. Uh, so I started looking at certain manufacturers uh, of pre builds. And Thor, what stood out, Thor from all the rest, you know, everybody knows uh, about the Mercedes. Um, and the Sprinter van. Sprinter vans are nice. They are really nice. They're also really expensive. And they don't come with everything that we had in mind. Uh, so what led us to Thor is that Thor actually had everything that we wanted in a van. Bathroom, solar. Uh, this one has uh, solar panels on top. Uh, it has 200 amps of uh, lithium batteries. Uh, it has an under the hood generator, so we don't have an actual generator. Uh, we have a second alternator that will charge the batteries uh, while it's idle or while we're driving. Um, and it just had so many different bells and whistles at a lesser price that the other manufacturers didn't have. Uh, so once I kind of we, we kind of got in the mode of really looking at the Thor, we uh, this was kind of like pre-pandemic and we we're really you know getting to the close to the point where we want to purchase and during the pandemic of course everybody got camping fever and everybody started buying and the prices started skyrocketing so we went ahead and put a stake in the ground uh drove to one of our uh, dealerships and we went ahead and put our order in and the uh, vehicle came in early this january and we picked it up and we've been kind of rolling with it ever since so um it's it's been a, a learning a learning curve. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's been some things that um, we've had to figure out. Should I say he's had to figure out, and that I've had to like research while he's driving. It's like, oh my gosh. So there's been some there's been some interesting times with us trying to figure out some some functions of it. So it's not like you know you can't learn how to do it. It just takes time and effort, and you do have to do a little bit of research right. and just roll with the punches and try to figure it out. 
because there's not anything that you can get that you're not going to have to figure out some issues that may come up. And every RV, no matter how much it costs, is going to have problems uh, because there's quality issues with the manufacturer. Uh, luckily, we haven't had any serious problems with ours. Uh, we're members of a uh, Facebook group uh, of, of folks who drive the uh, sequence in the Tolaro and we do see the horror stories of uh, the problems they're having but again luckily we haven't had those problems uh, so you know it, it's, it's it's quality it's the manufacturer but all of them have uh, just as many problems as, as anyone so it's not exclusive to Thor or, or Forest River or any other manufacturer uh, so like you say you just, just have to roll with the punches and kind of go with it uh, but we do enjoy. Uh, one of the questions that somebody, uh, several folks were asking of whether or not we were part-time or full-time. We are part-time. Mm -hmm. We're not full-time. Uh, we don't plan on going full-time, at least not in the Class B. We wouldn't go full-time <laughs> in the Class B. Yeah. Uh, if we had to, from other circumstances, yes, we would do it. Uh, it's, it's not, but that it wouldn't be our preferred mm -hmm. method to go full-time in. Uh, a larger rig would be uh, more preferred. Uh, so we are not full time. We're, we're part time. We go on the weekends, uh, summers, uh, and get to the point where once we fully retire, that we'll take longer trips and uh, do longer, you know, excursions and bring better content. But again, we'd like to again thank everybody for watching, uh, following the channel, and subscribing. Uh, give us that thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Keep the comments coming. If you have any other questions, let us know. We'll be glad to answer. I will answer every comment. Um, and share the videos with your friends and family. Uh, and just have fun while we're having fun and enjoy the ride. We appreciate it, guys. <laughs>
right guys time to get the cooking on
All right, guys, here it is. The finished product. Doesn't that look delicious? Time for dinner, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's the next morning. Uh, we've enjoyed our stay out here at uh, Bonham State Park. Uh, but before we get out, uh, we want to show you uh, some of a few of our uh, the, the gadgets that we carry with us uh, that we like. Uh, so here's a look at that. Okay, guys. So <laughs> here's some of our uh, more common things that we like to carry. We usually uh, take at least uh, one and sometimes all of these uh, on trips. What it depends on where we're going. And one of the key things uh, when we're looking for some of these items um, is the size because of the uh, the van size is key. Um, and also I want to say that we are not being endorsed by any of these products. Uh, these are just products that we like and that we found uh, that fit for what it is that we're trying to do. Uh, our air fryer is uh, the Inte uh, Instant Vortex Mini. Uh, and it is, I mean, perfect size. Uh, it, 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 it does all kinds of stuff, baking, reheating, air frying, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Works perfectly, stores and fits perfectly. Uh, of course the Keurig Mini, uh, must have because somebody drinks coffee. Uh, and you know, it, it stores great. And again, it's, it's small. Uh, we wanted to uh, carry a blender as well and this was a true find. Uh, this is the Beast uh, blender. It's uh, basically a uh, smoothie maker uh, but it also makes great margaritas as well. Uh, so and it crushes ice like a champ. So if this also, I just want to say I do a lot of juicing too and I can't bring my juice. I have the Nama juice at home. Um, and when we're traveling, it's that's really too big to bring my juice in, so I can blend it here and then I can strain it from here because it, it really chops it up very, very, very fine. So that is one uh, that we do do enjoy. And then, of course, uh, someone drinks tea. I drink a lot of teas. So <laughs> we bought a little kettle uh, for that, and uh, it, it, it works great. Uh, that does perfectly. Uh, so, yeah, actually, these are our major go-tos as well as the ice machine gotta have that ice machine uh, and they work perfectly and store perfectly okay guys I hope that was useful uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video again we appreciate everyone for watching uh, we appreciate everyone for subscribing uh, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe yes. share um, and just uh, enjoy the moment with us and Next we uh, our next trip is uh, somebody's birthday. Yay! So we're gonna be out at uh, a park uh, camping for the weekend for her birthday. Uh, and so it's one of my favorite spots. So, <laughs> so we will uh, see you guys on our next uh, trip and adventure. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for Thank watching. You. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>